my dear masters students we are reading for several weeks things for a part today i will discuss with you from this novel from chapter 15 to 18 with analysis in chapter 15 during the second year of akonkos exile Obiureka brings several bags of cowries to Okonko. Obiureka said that the village named Ibame has been destroyed. One day, a white man rode on a bicycle which the villagers called Iron Horse. At first, the village people ran away from him but who are less fearful touched the white skin oracle told the elders of the villagers that the white man would destroy their clan the village people killed the white man and tied his bicycle to their sacred tree many weeks later many white men and a group of natives gather at the ibame market and then they shot and killed almost everyone the village is now deserted from this point on the two groups are depicted and adversaries and future conflict seems inevitable The Ibame disaster is based on an actual event on 1905 AD in the community of Ehira. In chapter 16, two more years have been passed before Obirika visits Embanta a second time, again with unhappy news. white christian missionaries have arrived in yomofia and built a church and they have recruited some converters obiureka visited okonko for the second time to inform that okonko's son noe had relations with missionaries noe responded that he was one of them and he refused that okonko is not his father noe's mother informed obirika that six men arrived in ambanta including one white man the white man with a strange dialect spoke to them about christianity okonko thinks that these newcomers must be insane but noe is in his instantly captivated the poetry of the new religion seems to answer his questions about the deaths of ikumafana and the twins newborn in chapter 17 It tells also about Christianity. The missionaries sleep in Embanta marketplace for several nights and preach the Christian gospel each morning. After several days, they demand a land to the elders of the village to make a church. The elders gave them a land in the evil forest fire people who died of evil diseases are buried the elders thought that the missionaries are fool for taking the cursed land after building the church the people of embanta began to realize that the white man possesses incredible magic and power Now the missionaries moved to Yomofia to preach. 
as the number of converts grows, Noe secretly prays every Sunday but fears the wrath of his father. Okonko hurt all and beat his son with a heavy stick and leaves his son alone. Noe moves to Yomofia where the white missionary start at high school for the young people. Noe now plans to return to his maternal Sankur land to convert his mother, brothers and sisters. Here HB implies that clinging to old traditions and an unwillingness to change mainly may contribute to their downfall. HB does not pass judgment on their point of view, but he illustrates the kinds of circumstances that could make things fall apart. In chapter 18, the village people believe that the Christians will weaken and die in the dreaded forest. One day, three converts came into the village and told the traditional gods are dead and they wanted to burn their shrines. Eventually, rumors circulate that the church has set up its own government, but the villagers remain unconcerned. A year later, one of the also converts named Okoli is rumored to have killed the sacred python, the most respected animal of the clan. Okonko, who has gained a leadership role in his motherland, believes that the clan should react with violence, but the elders want more peacefully to exclude church members from all aspects of clan life. Okonko feels that simply excluding the Christians from public place is a weak solution. But the increasing strength of the new church is represented for the Christian Holy Week and Easter. My dear students, here we chapter 17 and 18, we see the rising of missionaries instead of their old religion and belief. Next day, we will start new chapters. Thank you.